Hello everyone, welcome back to Engineers Creations. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own hand sanitizer labels using Microsoft Word. I have a whole separate tutorial using Silhouette Studio. Check down below, cause I will put it down in the description bar. But I know everyone that, half of the people that follows me do use still Microsoft Word. So this tutorial is for those people that still use Microsoft Word. All right guys, so let's get started. For your supplies, you're going to need sticker paper. This is the sticker paper that I'm going to be using. By any means, use any sticker paper of your choice. Now, make sure that the uh, sticker paper that you use has to be compatible with the printer that you have, meaning inkjet or laser. I have an inkjet printer, and this works fine with my inkjet printer. I get this from Amazon, and also you can also get it directly from their website, onlinelabels.com. This is a full 8.5 by 11 sheet of label paper, standard white matte. You can get it in glossy, you can get it, like I said, any anything you would like. A pair of scissors to cut out your labels, measuring tape, and your hand sanitizer. Again, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is going to be hand sanitizer of your choice. They have a million varieties out there. And this is the reason why you need a measuring tape because you are going to measure the hand sanitizer that you bought. So you're going to measure the width and the height. And that is the measurements that you're going to enter in the software of your choice. Okay, if you have watched any of my previous tutorials using Microsoft Word, I always like to switch the mode. That's just me personally. That's the way I like to work. So the way that I will do that is I will go to File. I will go to Save As. And then right here, I will scroll down and put Word 97 2003 document. I'm going to name it Hand Sanitizer and I'm going to click on Save. Then I'm going to click Yes. And then my mode is going to switch. I just like working on Word 97 2003. All right. So the first thing you need to do is go to insert, go to shapes. You're going to click on the oval rectangle shape. Make any size oval rectangle on your screen. Once it's selected, you're going to go to shape format, go to wrap text in front of text. On your height, you're going to type. 2.75 and enter and on your width you're going to type 1.75 and enter now this is according to the hand sanitizer that I'm using that's why I always say measure whatever you're doing now I went to Google and then I saved a TikTok birthday wallpaper so that's all I searched it was TikTok birthday wallpaper I clicked on the one that I liked, I right click and saved the image to my computer. So right here it says save image. I saved it, then I'm going to go back to Word. While my shape is selected, I'm going to go to shape format where it says shape fill. Then I'm going to click on picture. Then from my file, browse, and then I'm going to look up the image and click on open. And right here let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing all right now while my shape is selected I'm gonna go to shape outline more outline color and now I'm going to use the whitest one and click on OK so I can remove that white um, that black outline color because I don't want no outline color then I'm gonna unselect it I'm going to go to insert, word art, click on the first word art, look for the font that you want to use. Um, if you want to download free fonts, you can go to thefont.com. I have a whole separate tutorial on how to download free fonts. And I am going to type, click OK, Go. make sure your font is selected, wrap text in front of text. While it's selected, I'm going to go to shape outline, more outline. I don't want no outline color. Click OK. While it's still selected, I'm going to go where it says shadow effects. And I'm going to click on, let me see. You can also just play around with your shadows. But right now I have it on shadow style 16. No. I'm going to go to shadow style 19, then click back on shadows, shadow color, more shadow colors, 
pick a color that you would like and click on OK. Then just place your font where you want it. And then there's a, like a green little circle there that you can rotate. And then use the little circles as well to size your font. It has, when you have it selected, it has all these circles around. right click copy right click and paste no the font sorry on the font I'm gonna put it over here on the side I'm gonna right click edit text and I'm gonna type her name click on OK I'm going to try to rotate it back to straight. And just make it bigger. Now, because of the background that I use for this um, design, it already ha it comes with everything that I wanted. Like, it got a cake. It has, like, the microphones and stuff like that. If by any means you need images, you would just go to Google. And then, let's say, I want a cute cake. So, you need to make sure that you are searching for whatever image and write PNG behind it. When you put PNG and you click on the image, you're going to see white and gray rectangles behind it. That means it is a transparent background image. You're going to right click, save this image. Once it's saved, you're going to go back to Word. You're going to go to insert. You're going to go to pictures, click on picture, and then you're going to bring in a PNG. So let's say I click on this PNG. And then you'll see it has a transparent background. While it's selected, go to picture format, go to wrap text in front of text. And as you can see, it don't have no uh, white background behind it. That's how you save your transparent background images. I'm going to delete it because I don't need it. So now here, what we created, I'm going to hold down, I'm going to click on my shape that has the rectangle, hold down my shift key, click on the, on the font 16. And her name then everything select I'm gonna let go of my shift key right click go to group and group it together now everything's grouped as one now let me zoom out a little bit now I'm gonna place one here on the top right click copy right click and paste then add as many as you need on the sheet or as many as it fits You can also click on one of the hand sanitizers, hold the shift key, and click on all these four, then copy, and then paste, and then you paste it four at the same time. All right, now I'm ready to print. So you have to do, um, you can also save this to your um, computer. And so if you any anytime you had to create this again, it's already saved and all you have to do is go back and change the fonts and stuff like that. Now, if you don't have a printer at home and you need to print somewhere else, you need to save this as a PDF file. So you're going to go to save, you're going to go to file, save as right here in the drop down. You're going to click on PDF and save it as a PDF. Also, if you're selling this to a customer, you need to save it as a PDF because a lot of people don't have any softwares that you are using. This goes with any software that you are going to be using, either if you use Silhouette Studio or Microsoft Word, please save your items as a PDF. PDF, they cannot edit anything. And wherever they go print, that is going to stay the same size, the same font, the same colors, everything you use. I also recommend saving it as the same document, meaning like the Word document, save it like this too. So anytime you're gonna go back and do any changes, you're gonna click on the Word document, all right? From now, you are going to go print. So you're just going to go to print. And then here, you're going to select 
everything that you are going to use. So here I clicked on the Ecotank 1600. I'm going to click on printer properties. I like to print from my paper tray. So where it says auto select, I'm going to switch it to paper tray. Then I have it on portrait mode and then paper type. I like to print on presentation paper mat. I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to print this out and then I'm also going to cut it and we're going to start putting it on the hand sanitizers. Here is the final result on how everything turned out. I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you are not in my Facebook crafting group, it is called Andrina's Creations Crafting Lounge. I would love to see all your work over there if you do try to make these hand sanitizers. That The Facebook group is on Facebook. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Andrina's Creations LLC. If you don't have no social media, you're feel free to email me at geniuscreations at yahoo.com. Comment down below any questions you might have. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe and click on the notification bell to be notified every time I upload new videos. Again, like I always tell you, I hope everyone has a blessed day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.